Hello and welcome to another indie horror game, and welcome to another Steam Next Fest demo. This time I'll be playing the demo to The Whispering Valley, a first-person point-and-click inspired by games like Scratches. Now, if you want to find out where you can get this for yourselves, look down below in the description. The links, the details are all down there, okay? Now, in The Whispering Valley, I'm going to be playing as someone who goes to a small village somewhere in the Quebec province in the late 19th century. I'm going to the village to investigate some sort of presence. People are hearing whispers. Something's going on. Let's find out what that something is. I hope you enjoy it. Let's play the demo. Okay, so yeah, that's it. 1898. Hidden in the hollow of a valley, the village of saint monique de mont conceals a secret that weighs heavily on the community. The village is left abandoned. Those who remain can only wait. But something else torments the inhabitants. A shadow prowls around the village. Some saw it, Others heard it. They heard it whisper. You play as Father Landry. Okay. You've received a disturbing letter from Father uh, Levillet, um, parish priest of St. Monique de Mont. Okay. And this is what it reads. Pray for me, poor sinner. Now and at the time of my death, your friend, Francois Levillet. Worried, you board a carriage in the direction of St. Monique de Mont. The sun is down when you arrive at your destination. But as soon as you set a foot in, you notice that something is horribly wrong. And so, I investigate. And here we go. The controls. Fairly basic. Uh, yeah, they do seem quite similar to scratches. So, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to this one. Let's start. Okay. Here we are. Right. Well, it's very dark, isn't it? Right, so hang on, hang on. What was it? L? Okay, yeah. L to get the light out, to get the lantern back out. Where about am I? Well, Saint Monique de Mont, apparently. Next to a, a rock or something like that. Uh, Alright, so yeah, right click to zoom in. Tab is the inventory. I've got no items, but I do have a note. Oh, this is the letter, isn't it? Yeah, the letter that we just read. Fair enough, okay. I should probably bring things with me when I leave, but uh, yeah, just a thought, just a thought. Um, right, so what are we doing? Scaling the wall? Down here? Right, okay. Looks like we're going down the hill this way. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, yeah, this is feeling very scratchy so far. We're just going screen by screen and we get a 360 view wherever we stand. Yeah, alright. Well, there is a little house down there. And some candlelight, I think. So, yeah, maybe I should check this out. Uh, I can go right, I can go left. Can I go through that gap in the fence? Maybe I can go right and then... Ah, there we go. That's it. Oh. Hello. You're not going to bite me, are you? Hey. Ah, oh, who's a good dog? <laughs> Alright, the game's 10 out of 10. Okay. Uh, let's see. This door is locked. Well, to be honest, I wouldn't expect anything else. I wasn't trying to break in. Okay, hang on, there's someone inside. Uh, not again. I'm begging you. Just get it over with me. Oh, I thought you were something else. Who are you? This is the first time I've seen you in the village. I assume you're here to see our parish priest, Father. He must be waiting, like everyone else here. I'm also waiting. I, I can't take it anymore. Is that right? I can't seem to take the lantern out when I'm talking to him. I guess I just don't want to shine it in his face. I'd like to be alone now, please. Okay, alright. Say no more. Say no more. I take it this is going to be a fairly bare-bones demo. I did notice in the menu that I didn't have any audio options. I do believe there's going to be voice acting in the full game, and I think it's going to be in French. There we go, we can get the lantern back out. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's leave him be, shall we? Over here? Oh, I do see... A couple more buildings, okay, so I guess we're at the outskirts of the village. Let's go this way. Oh, hang on. This door is locked. If only it was a small fence that I could easily hop over. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately that doesn't seem to be an option, but then why would I do that? Just to get to some flowers? Uh, okay, well, let's, um, let's head back. Yeah, let's go, let's go back to the path, to the road, if you can call it that. And yeah, let's head towards these other buildings. 
Eh, so far so good. I quite like the way it looks. Seems to be running decently well. Okay. Magazine General? Okay, let's see. Locked? Well, yeah, of course. Um, there's no, like, key hidden around here or anything, right? I can't just, like, break in. <laughs> uh, what about this one over here? Can we have a look? Let's see. What's this? Oh, this is the Saint Monique Inn. All right, okay. But again, unfortunately, it's locked. Right, do I have lodgings in this place? I guess not, right? I don't have any money to pay for anything either. Yeah, I, I really didn't think this through. Let's just keep going down the path. Okay. There's a, a little house over here. No lights on inside, but yep, again, the door's locked. <laughs> well, welcome to the Whispering Valley demo, everyone. Oh, that's a, a rather brave bird, not flying away. Never mind. Uh, let's go this way. Can I get in here? No? Okay. Um, yeah, uh, let's just keep on trying, I suppose. Let's, let's see. Maybe I'm going to get some luck somewhere. Over to the left. The right, possibly. I can go that way. I can go that way. Right, this looks like it's more of a dead end. Let's go this way first. Over here. Okay, we got a well to the left. Looks like I can actually go around the back here. Let's do that. Oh dear. The carcass of a pig. It seems to have died of hunger. Man. Hey! A, a young sheep. He's too agitated for me to approach. Hmm. You guarding something, maybe? Oh, okay. Well, maybe I can appease you somehow. Uh, let's see. Let's actually go back. Let's do what I've been doing with all the other places and try to get through. Oh, the door's locked, but hey! Can we talk through the window again? Who... who's this? God be praised! I suspect, Father, that you're here for Father Levelet, but please help me! My daughter, Robertine, has just left the house in the middle of the night. I couldn't stop her. Her eyes, so empty. I'm afraid she gave in to the whispers. Help me find her before it's too late. Last week, she went to the general store to mail a letter. She may have written down where she was going. The postman no longer passes here, so the letter should still be there. The store owner was once a friend of the family. His name is Monsieur Prudhomme. I still have the key to his store. Take it, father, and bring me this letter. Okay, so I've got the general store key. And there it is. So you just click it, use inspect or combine, okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, this is looking pretty promising, honestly. I quite like this so far. Um, well, if I do that, maybe she's going to let me inside so I can get warm. <laughs> uh, I think I think I've already passed by where I need to go, but let's just keep on going this way. Let's see what we find. Maybe I can have some luck here. Come on. Ah, again, the door's locked. Can I go that way? No? Really looks like I should be able to. Okay, any further? Uh, yep. Uh-huh. Really going out into the weeds now. I think this might be it. This might be the, uh, <laughs> the village limits, let's say. Okay, let's head back. Okay, so all the way back. I, uh, I think it's the building by the inn. Yeah, the, the, the second one that we tried, this one over here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so... Well, the door's locked. And that's how we use items. Not locked anymore. We're going in. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like this. It does have a, a sort of scratches and darkness within vibe to it, doesn't it? Okay. So, what have we got here? Oh? There's no record on the platter. Ah, but maybe there should be? Maybe I should be looking out for a record? Okay. 
I think I'm actually maybe trying to find a letter or something, but fair enough. That's not a dead cat over there, is it? I hope not. Ah, oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's purring. Brilliant. You can pet the dog, you can stroke the cat. This game's alright in my book. What we got here? Is this it? Uh, Mr. Prudhomme. First, let me offer my sincere apologies for failing to pay my debts. Understand that when the opportunity to flee the village presented itself, I took it without hesitation. I took care to leave your money behind. It's locked in my safe. I even modified its combination for you. For safety's sake, I'll not include it in this letter, but you can easily deduce it. You've heard it so many times that I feel it's already engraved in your mind. May the Virgin Mary watch over you, Gilbert Gauthier. Or Gauthier, maybe, but okay. Right. Modified to combination. You heard it so many times. You heard the combination so many times. Hmm. Well, it's not engraved in my mind. Not yet. Okay. The post office. That's right. Hey, I can I can read French. <laughs> okay, this door, unfortunately, like all the others, it seems, is locked. Something down there? Oh, hang on. Ah, Hail Mary. It's been heavily played by its owner. Ah, well, this, this might be it. Right, I'm going to pick this up. And uh, I'm going to take that over to the gramophone, I suppose. Okay. Right, so what else we got down here? Just trying to find things to interact with, quite honestly. Maybe a, a book to read? Okay, over here. No, don't want any supplies. Can I go upstairs? I... Th Oh, hang on. Oh, who's in the stairs? How did you get into my store? Oh, boy. If it was Madame Lalipate that gave you the key, tell her to leave me alone. I won't apologize. What I said was the truth, and she knows it. The post office? The door's locked. I won't give you its key just like that. The inn across the street has been abandoned since last month. The building belongs to me. The last tenant, however, failed to pay his rent before fleeing the village. He owes me a lot of money. I received a letter informing me that my money was left in the inn safe, but the bastard changed the combination without notifying me. If you find a way to open the safe, I will gladly give you the key to the post office. Okay. The letter is on the table downstairs. You should read it. Okay. And I've actually got the inn key now. Great. So, I can't come in? No? Okay. I'm a man of my word, he says. Open the safe in the inn and I'll give you the key to the post office. The letter's on the table downstairs. Right, so we need to sort this out first. And now we can get the lantern back out. So, well, let's let's listen to this recording, if possible. Yeah. Hail Mary, right? Okay. Yeah. I like the way that you interact with the inventory. It all seems just right. Sounds like Pac-Man. <laughs> Is it the skips? And that's the end of that. Right, I've got to be honest, I didn't get a great deal from that. Although, if this was played a lot and this was meant to be, you know, already etched in his mind, engraved in his mind, it might be the skips in the record. And I think there was like one or two to begin with, then there was like five or six, and then there was three at the end. That's when I sort of started to take note. Um, so that might have something to do with it. Yeah, it might have something to do with it. I guess what I'll do is I'll leave that there. Um, what I'm going to do is, is is go across over here uh, to the inn. Yeah. I'm going to see exactly what's required. I mean, if it's three numbers, I might have them. But if it's more than that, then there, there might be some more I need to deduce. Yeah. 
This is all right. I like this. So yeah, let's let's get ourselves into the end, shall we? There's the key. There you go. I'm a dab hand at this now. The inventory system works just as you want it to. All right. Let's see then. Over here. Oh, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, okay. I'm going to need to play something. Hmm. But I don't know what. I guess I'll come back to this a little bit later on. Anything around here? No. I don't suppose I can light that candle, can I? We got a leak? Looks like we got a leak. Okay. Can I get back here behind the bar? This very small bar? Looks like it. Not seeing a great deal of much. Um, no safe. Oh, hang on. There is a hatch, though. Again, the door's locked. I'm going to need to find a load of keys or maybe something to just snap these chains. Maybe some bolt cutters. Oh, okay. So, the back room. Ah, ah, here we are. This is going to be the safe then, isn't it? And there's only three dials, and it's, it's a really simple one. So, I, okay, hang on. So, I think the last one should be three. So, yeah. It was either five or six. I'm not really sure. Two, two, five, three. That's it. Okay, so I was right. It's the skips in the record. It doesn't look like money to me. Uh, Mr. Prudhomme, I hope you had all the trouble in opening this safe. Besides, you won't find your money there. I don't owe you anything. Not even a small cent. Those responsible for the misfortune afflicting our village are you and your loud mouth. Because of your lack of discretion, I had to give up my life in St. Monique de Mont as well as my establishment. You will never see my face or the colour of your money again. I've been told you can hear whispers too. Good. I wish you a painful end, but I doubt it will be horrible like little Renee's. Truly, Gilbert or Gilbert. Wonderful. Seems like a, a lovely fellow. Okay. Well, um, definitely no money in here. Shall I go back across to the general store and give him the bad news? Will he still give me the key? I don't actually know. Um, there's not like a secret compartment in here, is there? No. <laughs> Unfortunately not. No, that's wishful thinking. Uh, right. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a great deal to do around here, apart from maybe play the piano, so... Yeah, maybe when I find a little jingle I want to play, I'll come back. Hmm. Yeah, I do wonder if I'm going to get this key. I hope so! So, over here. Let... Okay. Why? Whoa. Did I just see a flash come from that window? Right, I, I was wondering what the hell was going on with that. <laughs> I guess that's this game's version of a cutscene. Okay, the dog seems to be fine. Oh, but he certainly isn't. Damn. Dr. LeBlanc, he killed himself. Can't grab the gun by the looks of it. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's it! Oh... I just wanted a little bit more. And I think this might be the trailer that we're seeing now. Alright, well, there you go. That was the demo for The Whispering Valley. Thank you very much for watching. I wish there was more that I could sink my teeth into. And I wish there was some voice acting in the demo, but uh, I understand why there's not. It seems okay, it seems a little bare bones, it seems a little basic, but I am getting that sort of scratches darkness within vibe, and you know, it is sort of scratching that itch for the first person point and click, so yeah, in all likelihood I probably will be coming back to this when it is fully released. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time. I should probably bring things with me when I leave, but uh, yeah, just a thought, just a thought. Ah, oh, who's a good dog? <laughs> Alright, the game's 10 out of 10. This door is locked. If only it was a small fence that I could easily hop over. <laughs> That's a, a rather brave bird, not flying away. Never mind.
The post office, that's right. Hey, I can I can read French. <laughs> Sounds like Pac-Man. <laughs> it was either five or six, I'm not really sure. Two, two, five, three. Whoa. 